Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show <coughs> this particular loco, which is a budget loco from Trix. I've shown it in the past. It's a TT616. And budget meaning the detail isn't 100% brilliant, like there's a hole in the roof there where probably the exhaust or well, the exhaust pipe is there. So there's a hole there which is exposed, showing a screw, stuff like that. But it's no big deal. The interior cab is not detailed, just electronics showing in there. So, but what I really like is the way they put this thing together. I mean, the detail on it is outstanding anyway for the price. Um, I think it's about under, I think I paid about 130 for this. But it's DCC sound. Uh, it's got LED lighting, and it's still a finely detailed local. You've got lighting up here, and this upper cab light. And these two lights here can be illuminated in each direction and it's got digital coupling on both ends Just pop off the top yeah so I'm going to install two guys but I'm going to have to chop, the, chop them right down to fit them in, fit in into the cab where you can see there's electrics, electronics, resistors all the rest of it but the way this is put together, this logo it really is fantastic, it's a brilliant runner uh, it's pickups and all wheels um, all wheel drive it's got a um, high efficiency motor on board you can see the 21 pin DCC factory chip there speaker below it and uh, all the wiring for the couplings etc run underneath Yeah, it really is a very nice model. When I say all-wheel drive, it's just uh, the drive comes through uh, this area here, like in real life. This like, sort of big counterweight drive system comes through there, and then gears up to this set of wheels here and then the actual rods connecting the other wheels make it six wheel drive so yeah it's very, I love it, I just love this local, it's really nice if you find one it's well worth buying if you're into the continental stuff LED lighting it's just the way it's put together, it's just and it's some weight to it as well, it's quite a weight to yeah, it's good value for money this one. So I'll just pop in these guys now. Yeah, as you can see, that's a chopping right down from the waist. Um, what I'm going to do is paint that resistor behind him so it's less noticeable. Um, so just a little bit of added extra realism because there's no detail cab on it. It'll uh, should be able to see him fairly okay when it's uh, all fitted back. I don't think I'm going to get any other drivers in there. I'm going to put one on the other side as well, but I don't think that's going to be possible. See what it looks like now.